so I'm super sick. I'm not with my usual chronic illness. That's always there, but I have the flu, so please excuse my voice, but I wanted to share my favorite lashes because in our last video, we talked about eyelash tools and glues, but I want to share some of my favorite lashes, but also some that I don't like and what to look out for, for lashes that will work for you. So let's get started. So when I first started wearing lashes, I actually started wearing these ones, which were the Demi Wispies, and these are a classic. But right now, I'm not really a fan of these anymore because I feel like we've progressed past this. There's much higher quality lashes out there, and I don't find myself reaching for these in the same way. The main issue I have with these is the bluntness and the shagginess of the cut mixed with this very perfect curve that's almost too perfect that it's too unnatural looking. Now, if you are a fan of these styles, then I would actually recommend looking at a slightly different version. So you have the Kiss So Wispy Lashes here. You see how the curve is a little bit more natural and the ends taper off, so they're a lot less blunt. However, if you really want to go for that super natural looking look, you might want to try these ones. These are also by Kiss. They're the My Lash But Better range. And just look how beautiful these styles are. They have a few different styles in this range. Blessed is one of my favorites, along with All Mine and Well Blended, but I, I love them all. Now, in saying that, sometimes lashes, they don't need to look really natural or realistic. Sometimes I want that really heavy, full lash too. But if I am going to go for a really natural look, I want to make them look as real as possible, or at least somewhere in between. And if I want that, I want to look for the ends and how they taper, because that honestly makes such a difference between looking real fake or just really artificial, which we really want to avoid. Sometimes I want my lashes to also be seen. I want my lashes to not just look like my own lashes, but fuller and deeper, but sometimes I want them to look fake AF as Frasier. Love that show. So I kind of go for this style. I know they're really dramatic, but I use these in my dramatic eye makeup looks because I am so far zoomed in on my eyes that I can get away with wearing something like this. The thing is, you know the phrase, the camera adds 10 pounds? Well, for makeup, you need to add 10 pounds of makeup for it to show. So though these look amazing on camera, in real life, it kind of looks like if I flutter my eyes too much, I might just fly away. But I don't mind that for special occasions or for makeup tutorials. But if I am looking for something in between, like, yes, I'm wearing false eyelashes, but they're not the main focus. I will wear this brand. I love these lashes. They're so pretty and I met some of the girls from this brand a few years ago and they're just so kind and sweet and friendly and I buy from them all the time because of how lovely they are. So go and check them out because they have amazing lashes in their range. Now for my mature friends out there, for you guys, I don't like to go for anything too heavy or too long. I like a shorter, denser, soft, tapered edge. The older you get, the more you lose that thickness of your lashes. And this can also be affected at any age with hormones, any changes in your health. If you might have lost your lashes due to an illness, there are lashes available for you like these ones. These are actually designed to hold the lid for those with no lashes, but they also work for people who have sheer or missing lashes. They're incredibly comfortable for beginners too. They're very lightweight and I just love that these are being made and catered for everyone should be able to find a lash that works for them. I will link some of my go-to favorite lashes below, but I really wanted to do this video just because I wanted to ask if you have any issues with lashes so that I can do another video on trying to fill in the gaps and make things a little easier. I love wearing lashes. They make me feel put together. I'm not wearing them right now because I'm super sick, but even on my really bad days with my chronic illness, I will wash and dry my hair and then I'll put on some fake lashes. Nothing else, just some fake lashes, brush through my brows and brush through my hair and it makes me feel more put together. So I want other people to feel the same feeling that I get where I feel glamorous even when I'm super pale and really run down and looking like I'm half asleep, but at least my lashes look good and my hair is washed. And that's the thing that I put the effort into. 
And I would love to get my eyelashes done on a regular basis, but that's so much work for me with my illness. It's, it's actually easier if I just put lashes on myself. So I wanted to share lashes that I love and I wanted to help people feel good. So if you do have any issues with lashes, if there's lashes that don't work for you or your eye shape is tricky, definitely let me know and I will put another video together and I will answer your questions and help find the right ones for you. And as always, my friends, remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. I'm going to go and have some honey and lemon right now and I will see you in a video really soon. Bye.